Next up, let's get right into it. We have Justin Williams and Zach Metra from Five Oak. Justin and Zach are serial entrepreneurs and founders of Five Oak. Justin has flipped over a thousand houses and coached other investors on how to grow a seven figure business. Zach is a technology and digital marketing expert and owner of a digital marketing agency. Together, they help real estate agents and investors grow their business through online reviews. So guys, super excited to have you here today. Excited to see what you've brought for today's event. The floor is yours. Go ahead and take it away. Yeah, woo! Thanks, Haley. Um, thank you, first of all, Chris and Jamie and Haley for putting this on. This event has been amazing, especially during this time of COVID. Everyone's locked down and shut down, but it's not gonna stop us. Um, so what you guys are doing is awesome. I was talking to Chris a couple of weeks ago and sharing with him, you know, we've, we've done a lot of stuff together in the past through real estate and sharing what we're doing now and how we've been helping people get more and better reviews. And he was like, oh, that would be amazing uh, if you can come and speak to uh, the Invested Agents Summit uh, about how you guys are doing that. So I have the gift of gab. We don't have a lot of time. I'm going to turn the time over to my partner in crime, Zach Metra. He's the brains behind everything. Take it away, Zach Metra. Ah, ah. <laughs> Uh, he's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we uh, we launched this product uh, last year. And just uh, a little bit about my background is I had been running a marketing agency for about 10 or so years. And as part of that, working with local businesses, obviously a big part of our marketing services was designed to help them get more reviews. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, um, this was the first time that I've seen this happen in my 10 years of, of being in marketing, but Google finally kind of peeled back the curtain a little bit and showed us and clearly stated some of the top ranking factors of how they decide to rank company A over company B. So it really boils down to three main things, relevance, distance, and prominence. But the part that we're going to focus on today is this prominence uh, ranking factor. And I'll highlight this on the screen so you can see it. But they say Google review count and review score factor into local search ranking. More reviews and positive ratings can improve your business's local ranking and your position. So if you guys aren't familiar with GMB or Google My Business, this is what I'm referring to over here on the right hand side. So this is our, our profile. We just started this maybe two weeks ago. We figured we might as well start using our own, our own product. But um, as of today, um, especially with real estate investment, the number one place that people go to to determine if they can trust um, the business with their, their house and their you know this financial decision that they're gonna make, they're going to Google. The second one beneath that is BBB. But as you just learned from you know from the source right here, Google review count and score factor into local search results. So obviously, from a SEO perspective, it's in your best interest to try to improve your Google ratings as much as you can, because that's going to help factor into how you show up in local search results. Another little tidbit that I'll share is for us. The, you know, if we could wave a magic wand and show up on page one for a specific search term, it would be this right here, online review management tool. That's what we found most people are searching for when they discover our product. But as of about maybe six to nine months ago, um, we learned that Google is actually starting to scrape uh, a lot of the information from, from the reviews, both from what the customer is saying and both from what you are saying as well. So uh, one of the things that we see as we work with a lot of you know, small businesses is a lot of times they're getting reviews. Uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Most often they're only responding to one star reviews and, they're, and they tend to be a little bit defensive. But one takeaway that you can have for today is you should be responding to every single review that you get um, because it's going to help condition and train search engine algorithms to better understand who you are, what you do and where you do it. Right. And so for us, we, we put this key phrase in most of our responses and we try to make it as natural as, as possible. But as you can see here, this is a realtor that we just helped. Um, he had been focused on Zillow, and other review platforms for the last year or so. And we had the chance to talk to him and help him better understand the power of, of Google reviews. 
And as you can see here, um, within a week, Five Oak was able to get me 12 very authentic re real reviews from past clients, right? So I'll pull up his, his GMB here. So he launched this uh, at the start of the year and we're already up to 12 reviews. He's averaging five stars. And, and now when you search his name, which is, it, it's kind of a common name, um, he's actually showing up number one here and this is now showing up. And then if you're on your phone, um, let me see if I can reproduce this real quick for you. Uh, if you're on your phone, oops, um, his actual uh, Google My Business profile appears at the top here. Hang on. Let's go to an iPhone. Well, it's not pulling up, but um, that's one of the things that we try to help people understand that as they, um, as you invest in your reviews, um, obviously Google is going to push their product above everybody else's. And so as you can see here, his reviews are coming up first and then Zillow is coming up down here below that. So a couple stats that we'll share with you. Um, these are like the three most common ones that we like to share with people. Number one is, 97% of consumers um, are, are really going to reviews in order to find local businesses. And as realtors, like you obviously know that, right? You deal with people that are moving into new areas. They don't have a pediatric dentist. They don't have a plumber. They don't have uh, a landscaper, right? And so most often what typically happens with the customer journey is they they'll ask their friends they'll ask their realtor they'll ask people around people that they trust and they'll get suggestions on who to hire for whatever that service may be and then typically you know th they'll trust their friends they'll, they'll trust these people but then they'll go verify and that's really where where reviews come into the picture is in the verification stage of the customer journey uh, the Harvard Business School did a study a couple years ago, and what they found was that a increase in a one-star rating is is a direct correlation to about a five to nine percent increase in revenue. So, as far as ROI goes on reviews, uh, you know, Harvard Business School discovered that you know if you were to be at three point five, you know, rating on Google or other review platforms, and you were able to increase that to maybe four point five you should expect to see about a five to 9% increase in revenue. And then the final one is 87% of consumers won't even consider a business with a low rating. So that's kind of the, the why and the what of reviews. Um, and as part of running an agency, what we found is that a lot of people are using um, software automation to make this much easier for them to manage. And so there are a lot of different options out there. Uh, we happen to build our own called Five Oak, and I'll give you a quick walkthrough of how it works. So this is this is Casey's dashboard here. There's three different ways to send out a review request with our software. Um, you can send it out manually by just typing in the customer's you know name, email, or phone number. One thing that we'll share is that open rates on um, on a uh, mobile device is about 97%. Uh, whereas like email is typically somewhere between the five to 10% range if you're lucky. So a lot of times if you can solicit the review request through text, um, you can also, as you saw with Casey, uh, we were able to send a bulk uh, request out to all of his previous customers and that's how he was able to get a good jump start on his reviews. And then the third and more popular way is to integrate it into your software, right? So as you know, if you're using a CRM, as soon as the project is mark, marked as complete or paid or closed one or whatever that status is, uh, we can integrate into your existing software to just automate that process for you. So that's that's pretty much Five Oak in a nutshell. I know we're, we're running close on time here, but um, this is what it will look like if you send it out through email. Like I said, you can choose up to three different review platforms to focus on. For you guys, and especially in the real estate investment mar uh, marketplace, most people are going to Google to figure out who they can trust with this important decision. So, Justin, what else you want to add? Um, I, I know we're pretty much out of time. I know, Chris, you hopped on here. 
we are ha- usually this takes like 30 minutes we go through this with someone so if we can help anybody reach out to us um we're also offering you can go to fiveoka.com slash discount most of our competitors are about 300 dollars per month for the service we've helped a lot of uh investors and agents switch over from them to us and our price is 179 but we're giving 50 dollars off to anyone who's attending the summit so Feel free to reach out to us. Um, we're happy to hop on with you and, and go in more through more. Absolutely. Um, so fiveout.com slash summit. Does that get them the same uh, same discount? Yes. That'll okay. The- yeah. Fiveout.com slash summit. Guys, if you don't have reviews and you're not monetizing reviews, and by monetizing, I really mean proactively going after them, you don't exist. And that's true today. In 10 years from now, that is vital. Like vital everyone like you think with COVID, everything's pushing online but it's still a still a fraction of sales and the total globe global amount of sales is done online it's just a fraction it's growing 10 years from now it's gonna be a much much bigger percentage and it's gonna be harder to get those reviews get them now get them why it's easy friends and family and uh your sphere of influence is easy but on every single transaction have them do it and have them do it right there with you like if you're a real estate agent Boom, pull out your phone, pull out your iPad, have them do it right there at the closing table. Um, love it. I'm, I'm very excited because uh, we were pushing that really heavy a while back and then we kind of fell off. And then um, when Justin, you reached out about your service, I was like, sweet, we, we need to get back on that. Appreciate it. So everyone's listening, leave us a review. I'll put the I'll put the links below so you can leave us a review. Appreciate it. Use context. Use context and let us know specific things that you liked about it. Um, uh, obviously, I, I want you to leave a review that's that's truthful. And otherwise, we appreciate uh, you, Justin and Zach. And I'm sure they may hang around in the comments and answer any other questions. 5 summit Thanks, guys. Thanks, Justin Thanks. and Zach.